Hello, welcome back to another comic cleaning tutorial. Um, I will talk about the sponge today, but I want to explain why I use it and why it is also something that even if you love it like I am, I'm very mindful and careful of how I use it because comic books across the past 60, 70 years are produced very differently. Okay, much like pressing comic books, okay, for those that have done pressing, you know, Golden Age covers a much thicker, tougher material compared to the really cheap 80s stuff that's like uber thin. The Silver Age stuff is very different. The modern stuff is very, very different. That's why when it comes down to pressing, you got to give a little different touch to each age. But I was able to find a happy medium where I felt that I can press many books at 135 degrees and get great results. Okay, so the same thing with cleaning. The books are produced very differently. Different ink, different paper. Who knows about the gloss okay so keep that in mind when you are starting to clean okay i can't harp enough that you need to have as many beaters and readers out there as possible to play around with whatever tool you are using to see it's even more important to pay attention to the before and after Okay, just because you use a beater to test out a sponge, it does not mean that you can just go crazy on it and then see if there's any color loss or what kind of damage you have done to the book. Unless you have a photographic memory of like, okay, this is what the book looked like before I went monkey hammer on it. You don't know. So I do this a lot. I took many before pictures of a certain area before I clean, so, so that I can see what happened after. Do this, please, if, especially if you're new, do this because you need to see the impact of using any tools when you're cleaning, especially on the gloss as well as the color area. Okay, so uh, I will do a demonstration at the end and add on to this video so that you can see it for yourself. But trust me, as much as I love this sponge, I use it very carefully on the front cover of any book. On the back cover, I'm confident that I can use it across any kind of print on the back cover and not worry about loss of color. Okay, you have seen me. You have seen me do demonstration using this on some Silver Age books and the the text writing on the back cover, the black, didn't get wiped off, okay? So even then, try to be soft and gentle. You, you are not scrubbing tar off a chimney or something, okay? So don't go crazy, gentle. <laughs> Use as many stroke if needed, but at the same time, do not put too much pressure down when you're scrubbing something. You don't have to, okay? Be gentle, okay? When in doubt, be gentle, okay? That's how I approach testing out anything, and the more I use something like this, the more comfortable of how much pressure I can put on it as far as um, cleaning it. Now, before I do the demonstration real quickly, um, when I first test out this sponge and and did a, a video, one of the things that I love and discuss was that it does not leave behind any residue, right? Unlike an eraser, you can just use it and seem like it left nothing behind. That's not completely true. The more I use this, okay, and as you can see, it's very dirty. The more I use this and the more beat up, it have gotten over the last year, 
things flake off. It's not a big deal, okay? I just, I just want to make that point so that people say, how come you said it doesn't leave any kind of residue or particles, yet things start to fall off? Well, it does, it will, even that you can see this, okay? Yeah, the more you use it, things will fall off. It's okay, it's not a big deal, but keep that in mind. As always, I have a little uh, brush, not a big deal, but I just want to make that one uh, revision so that you know anyone that stumbled across the old video and use this will say, he was wrong, it felt, things start to fall off. It will, not a big deal. So the demonstration I will do will show you that it's uh, non-abrasive. This material is, it will damage the cover of the book if you use it too hard, okay? Trust me, when it comes down to the front cover, I'm very careful in cleaning, okay? I use this sparingly if needed. If it's super, super dirty and I need to clean the entire surface, but often for the front cover, I just use a tissue. A tissue is enough to wipe away any surface dirt and then use the eraser if needed in the white area. But for the color area, does it matter if it's dirty? Yeah? Leave it alone, okay? My advice to people is avoid touching the color area as much as possible unless there's something really dirty on it. When in doubt, leave it alone. <laughs> onward with the demonstration okay so here's a demonstration part of this video okay let's see this is a low grade justice league silver age dc so here's the book as you can see fairly glossy right and i will focus working on the leg area of superman okay it's just to show you how non-abrasive the sponge is so let me show you the gloss across his whole body okay and so you can see, have a good look at the color on his legs and feet okay so I'm just gonna scrub it real hard maybe 10 strokes okay and put down the, the phone here set it up so that it's you can see so I'm gonna focus right here 10 strokes okay Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do two more. Okay. Actually, three. So you get thirteen strokes right there. Okay. As you can see, can you tell the difference of the before and after as far as the gloss? And then take a look for yourself. Okay. Not bad, right? Okay, let's move on to example two. Here is a Silver Age Spider Man book that I had shown before. It has all kind of color touch restoration. I have shown it in my grading tutorial, I think, seven years ago. But let's take a look at the black area, okay? See how, let me give you a look at how glossy it looks. Okay, and show you how the black area, there's a couple of white dots, stuff like that, but overall, it's pretty good, right? Once again. Let's put the camera down. Here we go. Ten strokes, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey, I'm doing in twelve. Okay. What do you think? Do you see the lines? There you go, see? 
So yes, there are some damage to the cover right there, right? I'm not gonna say that there's nothing, but you can see like like the remnant of the stroke, the direction that I uh, pushed the, sp the sponge. Okay, so it's there. Whether it took off some color, maybe a little bit, yes, for sure. The gloss, yes, okay. This is why, you know, when you're using the sponge, be very mindful that it can damage the books, okay? So don't go monkey happy with it. 